<laughs> Words of Inspiration with Rachel Klein Under his command, time grows impatient, the days are growing shorter, nights are brighter, there's no color in his sight. We are all equal. His voice commanding, virtuous woman standing, strong man, feel his presence in an embrace. Ever flowing grace, giving strength to win this race. Swift feet to destruction, my heart is faint within me, my strength is weary. I hear a mighty voice saying, fear not, for I am here. Here shall I stay, peace I have for your troubled heart. For as the heavens and the seas remain apart, my love for you will last forever. Depart from evil and do good. Many times you have been misunderstood. Like a sheep counted to the slaughter, I call you, my sons and daughters. Arise and walk. You shall no more. You shall no more be deemed sick and cursed. Cast down, but not destroyed. Trouble on every side. My tender love and mercy abide. Look not to the left nor to the right. You cannot and will not give up this fight. The battle is not yours. It is the Lord. Claim your victory. It is already done. Long as you believe without doubting, you can do above all. Just stand and let my perfect work have its way. As my hands shape, fashion, and mold you, for I am a potter and you are the clay. Live holy and acceptable every day. Let my words be a lamp unto your feet. Let them lead your path and you shall never go astray. You are my sheep. My sheep know my voice. In my presence, in times of chaos, rejoice. You hold the key to victory. The next one I'm going to read is entitled, We Need the Living Word. I'm going to live and make the world better. I've got so far to go, but God only knows. The struggles I face as I try to find my place in life. Deliver me from strife. Help me to see, to hear the melody calling to my heart. From your ways I won't stray. Your love will never part. Keep me ever so near, safe and secure opening a timely door. As the ocean gently embraces the shore, I'll reach high for the stars, everlasting scars, bringing heat from the hard streets. God only knows the mind's intent. And the dreams to be found again, what paths we choose, only to lose, we need Jesus to be understood. Help us to save souls, it's the lively goals of the righteous. Time has come and gone, it's a cold world with no love. Who do we call upon when we feel lost and alone? Some of us with no place to call home. The pain in our hearts and cries longing to be heard. All we need is one word. We need the living word. Thank you. Hi, this is Michelle Sanders. We're here with Dolores Lassiter, who has a new program that she's been doing for at least three, the last three years that is catered around women. Uh, first of all, Dolores, tell us a little bit about you. My name is Dolores Lassiter, and I go to Morning Glory Ministry. I am a minister. And the last three years, I've just been involved with women. And so, the, actually, the name of the ministry is called Sister to Sister. And so, once a year, I do a Sister to Sister celebrating of women. Okay. Now, in doing this, what encouraged you to come up with this idea? I mean, what made you come up with um, wanting to empower more women and focus? Is this um, church-driven or is this for the community? Uh, I would say that is God given uh, one year, the first year I just had a thought of just getting together with women and, and doing something with sisters. And I found out that there is a lot of emotions with sisters. And so just want to help celebrate sisters and honor sisters. So I uh, came up with this event and it has been a blessing. Well, um, tell me also, what was the theme? What was the theme behind this year? Because I love the idea and the concept that you had. 
Well, the thing came from Psalm 66, chapter and the 12th verse, and it says that I, I've been through the flood and I've been through the water, but he has brought me out into a wealthy place. And this year has been hard, a lot of struggles, a lot of pains, a lot of losses, but we're still, you know, we're still blessed. And so uh, I like that, that I'm still in my wealthy place. And you know what? I love that theme being in a wealthy place because everybody has so much to give and to, um, to offer. And I'm looking around at all the women coming in and I think that is just an awesome thing. Um, tell me a little bit about the guests that you have. You have um, a, an array of different people that are so talented and gifted in their areas, but you also have stories behind it. That's right. This is not about a particular church or a denomination. This is just about all women. And so starting with the praise team, uh, we got a lady from Chicago uh, with her sister here with us, and, and they started us off with just praise. And uh, then we had a sister um, showcase. I like to do a showcase every year, and this year I had some entrepreneurs and people just starting their businesses just to show other women that we all have gifts that's within us. And there's somebody that's waiting on your gift. And so even at uh, my center, I like for other women to teach other women their gifts. Um, and then we had a sister story. I like to do a sister story. And uh, the speaker talked about her struggles with a lot of illness and loss in the family. But it still brought them to a point where, uh, you know that old saying, uh, we do it together, we're stronger than we do it by ourselves. And so she talked about the sisterhood, the struggles, and then getting to their wealthy place. And we did gifts. And speaker, the speaker, oh my goodness, was awesome, awesome, awesome. Because she talked about her struggle. And, you know, we all kind of cry with her because we've all been there. And uh, she talked about never wanting to forget that pain or that struggle of getting to the place uh, she was at. And then we ended it all with a delicious, a wealthy lunch uh, catered by Tori. And, uh, and again, a time of fellowship where we all sit down together. The women was pretty in their red and just fellowship with one another. And I really enjoyed this. Uh, it was a special occasion, and it meant so much to me um, that this went off uh, even better than what I could expect it. Well, you know, for me, I thought the praise and the worship was the most uplifting. Um, now, the singers, you have to tell me because they were awesome. They are related to you. At least two of them are. Right, right. Uh, okay, and they're cousins of yours? They are They are cousins. Uh, uh, one of them uh, is the assistant pastor at Star Hope. And then her sister came down from Chicago to do praise. And then they brought in another girl. Uh, yes, they were awesome. And what a good way to start off any service by giving praise and honor to God for just even being there. And I have to plug that there were women on the keyboards and the drums um, playing. Right. I, you know what? Because all the time you always see men that's on the right. keyboard. So I love that. I, it really was a sisterhood event that's, and that's everybody right. was united and in unity. Well, I appreciate you inviting me to be one of the speakers and to be there to just to witness everything that was going on. And I want to say from Evolve, um, from us, that next time, next year, we're going to be there and we're going to film more of the segment oh, so that people okay. will get more out of it and see what you're doing because that's a great and awesome thing in the community. So thank you again, Dee Dee. Hugs and kisses to you because you know I love being, being, being there for you. And then also, just to let you know, this is Michelle Sanders signing off from Evolve Web Show TV. Toodles, love bugs.